All right, welcome back, everybody. Today, we are going to continue the grind of this weekly and play Super Auto Pets. Uh, we're going to play Arena. We are going to continue from a fresh game. So, game plan, 10-piece. The goal, the method, Mosquito. Then, Cricket. Then, Roll. Then, Fish. Our fate's been sealed. 10-piece is locked. We're going to be some holy stinkers, because that's how this weekly is making me feel. Like a freaking stinker. Mosquito hits the wrong guy. That's great. But we still take down the trophy. Awesome sauce. Holy stinkers. Holy stinking cats. We got one trophy. And you know what that means? We grab a mosquito. We grab a seahorse. And we roll. And then we kind of prep ourselves up for a little fish level action next turn. Let's keep it going, baby. I'm feeling good. I just got done with uh, hitting some yoga. You know, little, little at-home workout, little at-home yoga. Um, good stuff. I'm a uh, big proponent of trying it and going for it. And a big proponent of getting two trophies. So that's awesome. Um... Now we'll just have to see where the cards land, right? We're going to try and catch some levels here. If uh, the Super Auto Pet gods are gracious to us. A 4-2's got good stats, but we just roll. We're looking for anything. We get nothing. We grab a Mosquito for a level next time. And we grab this guy for a Seahorse. Alright, so not ideal. But... Um, we still have a pretty strong squad as it stands right now. This 5-4 Mosquito is, like, just proper scary. Um, and the 5-4 Mosquito really just gives us the what for. So, you know, that'll happen. But we catch a level. We get an Anteater and a Puppy. Neither of which are too intriguing to me. We'll see what this Mosquito gets us. And a Guinea Fowl is a good unit. However, we don't really have anything to pump it. So, I think we go with uh, Puppy, right? Because that'll give us a lasagna. And we'll freeze our guinea fowl here and hit a roll. Okay, we get nothing. So, we have a 3-3 chilling out there. Uh, we're kind of prepping ourselves for another couple levels over here. I think sequencing doesn't necessarily matter. I'm usually like putting the big boys up front. So, we'll run it like that. And hopefully we don't run into anything stupid like a 3-6 uh, camel or dromedary. Drone dairy. That just really gives us the work. Um, I'll take a tie there. You can never be mad at a tie. But you can be. I a little disappointed that you didn't do better. Um, we'll grab that guinea fowl right off the bat and we will catch this level. And a hippo right off the bat goes nuts. All right. Now the question is, why is my cat jumping on my desk while I'm trying to play Super Auto Pets? I think it's a, a good question. You know, she just wants attention. And I'm going to give it to her. Give her little pet scratches and stuff. So hopefully her being here isn't too noisy and bothersome. But the question is, do we go blowfish or do we go hippo? And I think the answer is very clear. The question, though, is what do we sell? So this is effectively a 3-5 with a 2-2. Two, two. Um, so that's effectively a 5-7 worth of stats. That's pretty good. Uh, we have a 4-4 four, four here that deals 2 damage. Two damage. Uh, and then we got a movie boy, which sometimes can mess up people's comps, but honestly, it's kind of whatever. And then we got the guinea fowl back here, which is just going to take our attention away from, um, from getting the goods. So, but I need to get rid of a level two thing. Thanks for calling that out, audience and chat and brain. Uh, we're going to get rid of our seahorse and grab this hippo. And we're going to have the hippo backdoor through the mosquito, giving us the business. And we're going to throw the guinea fowl up here. So that way we get the dog to spawn. Fantastic. Fantastic. This elephant and guinea fowl is going to be pretty, pretty sad mode. 
but we get the hippo to get the kill here. The hippo to get the kill there. Okay, and that's a tie, you know. That's a tie. We take a tie, but what we do is give our lasagna to the hippo, who's just going to go crazy. We're going to get a level on this fish, which buffs kind of the units we want, but not really. Um, we could take the whale and put it, because it's just a good stat stick. Um, whenever this knocks out a thing. Um, I think we get rid of the fish here. And we go melon. And then we're going to throw the hippo up front, if we don't forget. And then the hippo can kind of like be our beefcake in the front line. And maybe we throw a penguin in to just get some stats. Maybe we get rid of the penguin. And we freeze up this pigeon. And then maybe we grab another guinea fowl. You know? I don't know. I'm just speculating here. And then maybe we throw the sequencing like that. Right? Because then this dies, this dies. We're going to get a couple trumpets. This is going to do two damage. Mosquito. Mosquito can go here. That's fine, right? Because once this dies, then the dog will spawn. Okay. We don't care about this. Garlic would have been a maybe decent pickup, but we forgot. That is a scary squad. But our squad is scarier. Awesome sauce. We did it. Three trophies. We're on the uh, road to glory here. We'll grab an African penguin. Pump our guys a little bit. I don't think getting a cricket even bigger does, uh, like matters. So we're just going to kind of go for like a value piece. Like a skunk's good. Um, we could consider throwing an elephant in for the cricket. The cricket's kind of a big boy. We could also do like a backdoor. Um, we'll do a backdoor honey. That always seems to be good. And then next turn, we got a melon up front. We're cruising. Would be nice to get another hippo so we can keep on pumping this bad boy, but here we are. And our hippo just cruising through enemies. That's four trophies. All right. And then we got a nice little melon on the front. We don't need any backdoor honeys anymore. Uh, we could consider grabbing a puppy, but not really. The skunk's doing us nice. Three pets from the current shop tier. What shop tier are we in? We are in shop tier four. Three? Four. So this would give... That's not bad. Just kind of better stats on our guys. Uh, I don't think we want a mosquito. I don't think we care about the kangaroo. Wouldn't be bad behind the hippo. Um, next turn, it's going to level up the shop. I think we're good here. I think having a way to buff our guys was important. Just buff hippos, taking us to the promised land. Um, we do not care about an antelope. We do like a lasagna for our hippo. We've got nothing here for us. We've got a chocolate, which we will freeze, likely give to the hippo. And we've got a skunk. We'll freeze this, give the chocolate to our guinea fowl just because we can get a level here um and fly's not bad 
Maybe I should have thrown that out of my hippo. But why? Let's think about this. Summon a four four three times a turn, so you get a four 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 and a five five. It's kind of better value than the cricket. Definitely better than the mosquito. Um, I think we'll freeze this, and we'll look at it next turn. The skunk's really doing work for us. So is our hippo. And that's pretty fantastic. And we're cruising. Six trophies. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Easy peasy lemon squeeze who? Squeezy? I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> We'll grab a skunk level. Uh, a cobra would be sick. Cobra would be sick. So fly, grab cobra, put it behind our hippo. Cobra goes crazy. Um, we could also think about something for this cricket here. Because, like, backdoor, it's, like, nice. But it's not really doing anything for us. The guinea fowl is another unit we could try and get rid of. Um... I think like a mammoth would do us pretty good. I think a cheeky little scorpion in the front row. I don't know. We'll see what happens. None of the units down there kind of entice me. Oh, and our squad is so set. We're cozy. We got a nice buff hippo. We've got a snake in the back. Just shooting through the guys. We got a guinea fowl that's just giving us some trumpets. And our skunk's really putting in work. Um, the cricket's doing fine. Maybe we just throw some garlic on our snake. Maybe we grab a little chocolate action for our hippo. Maybe we freeze this skunk, hit a roll. Hit another roll and another roll, and we're cruising. Hopefully we don't run into uh, something even scarier. We did. We ran into something scarier. It exists. But that's eight trophies. So, what do I know? Bigger hippo? Snake? Roll for snake level, no snake level. All right, I'm thinking. I mean, I don't think we're gonna get a level three skunk here anytime, so maybe we just grab a cherry on our guinea fowl, and then that kind of gets us a bigger dog in the back door, you know? I don't know, I'm trying to cook here. This guy's gonna get huge. That guy's just gonna be a big freaking boy. And then in the back door we got this freaking The mus muskox is pretty pretty heckin' decent. Uh, we need to like beef up our hippo more. I think this is the time where we switch out for the mammoth. We roll. We grab another snake. We grab another snake. And then I think what we do is like maybe freeze a garlic for our mammoth up front. Freeze this mammoth. And then I think we're cooking, kind of. Like this guinea fowl is kind of in a weird spot. I don't think we want to have some shuffle action. I think we could we could think about this scorpion next turn. Like this is this is the point in the game where it's like eight trophies and you're you're really grinding out here. All right, this is the point you're at nine trophies and we're really grinding here. <laughs> 
We're gonna go like, uh, if it ain't broke, we're not gonna try and fix it. So maybe we just do a little backdoor popcorn on the skunk here. That's sick. That's sick. We're cruising. And that's how you cruise to a 10 piece in this weekly. Back to back, might I add. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day.